Hey everybody, welcome to Abundant Source Raw on YouTube. I'm here at the Miami airport. I just flew in. I'm about to jump on another plane to Costa Rica for the Costa Rica Fruit Festival. I'm super excited. I only got like three hours of sleep last night, but I'm very excited for this festival. Um, we're going to be boarding here in probably the next 30 minutes or so. But anyways, I wanted to make this quick video on dental health. And the reason I got inspired to do this is because yesterday I actually went to the dentist for a little checkup and got my teeth cleaned and uh, she was asking me about my diet and uh, suggested that I eat a sugar-free diet. I told her I don't eat it really any refined sugar, but I eat a lot of fruit and she said, well, you know, that's still sugar and you should try to cut all the fruit out of your diet. Um, and so I was like, Nope, I gotta set this thing straight for everybody. Um, and what actually causes tooth degeneration and decay. And so uh, sugar alone on the teeth does not cause tooth decay. Uh, in fact, there was actually a study or, or like a, an experiment done um, by some researchers who got uh, teeth and they put uh, one tooth in a glass of like acidic soda water and they put another tooth in some sugar water and the uh, tooth went in, inside the acidic water started to rot and decay and uh, the one in the sugar water, um, nothing happened. It could have sat in there forever and uh, the sugar would have done nothing to rot the teeth. So sugar doesn't really have anything to do with um, the decay of your teeth. It's actually acids that are going to rot your teeth and uh, acidosis. So um, decay is caused by acids and actually a big uh, factor in the decaying of your teeth is more of your internal acidic load, not necessarily what's on your teeth sitting there uh, at, in the moment, you know, um, like when you eat a piece of fruit or anything else and you put it in your mouth and chew it up, it's not as much that uh, what's sitting on your teeth and getting chewed up is causing the decay, but it's more of your internal, um, how your internal health is doing and how acidic uh, your, your insides are because what happens is when your insides are acidic, which virtually everybody is acidic, um, how the body counters that is it has to try and neutralize these acids with alkaline minerals and your most abundant alkaline mineral in your body is calcium, which is found in your bone and teeth. And so that's uh, the primary way that uh, your body is gonna, or one of the primary ways your body's gonna fight against acidity is by leaching uh, alkaline minerals off your bone and teeth to neutralize these acids. And so when you're eating unnatural foods like meat, uh, meat, dairy, grains, starches, etc., then it's gonna leach um, a uh, alkaline minerals such as um, uh, calcium and things like that to neutralize the acidity and so that means that you're gonna have a lot of bone and tooth uh, degeneration because um, just because your insides are so acidic and so you really need to we're alkaline animals and you really need to be eating alkaline foods and some of the only alkaline foods really are raw fruits raw vegetables uh, some raw nuts and seeds and maybe certain uh, raw milks but that's about it as far as alkaline foods go for humans and um, you know anything else is gonna be acidic pretty much and pretty much anything cooked is gonna be acidic so when you eat unnatural things like cooked food then your body's gonna become acidic and it's gonna have to take minerals from your bone and teeth to neutralize the acidity and that's one of the biggest causes of tooth decay and cavities and things like that is just your body's leaching it to protect itself and of course uh, the, the food substances that are sitting on your teeth do play a part and uh, it's more of the really acid fruits you may want to stay away from you know you don't want to be drinking a ton of lemon water or lime juice um, and maybe uh, a bunch of oranges could do some damage but um, if you're eating really sweet fruit sugary fruits then it's not really going to be a problem and um, and if you're really worried about it, you know, you can just uh, wash your mouth out with some water to uh, 
get all that stuff off your teeth, but it's really not an issue. And as far as using uh, dental hygiene products like uh, toothbrush and toothpaste, I mean most toothpaste and uh, mouthwashes and things like that are going to be chemicals, uh, toxins, it's going to be acidic, and it's just going to add to the toxic load in your body, which is going to leach even more calcium, it's going to be damaging to your mouth, and uh, it's, it's going to... Um, kind of neutralize your mouth's defense system. Your your mouth is always cleaning itself and uh, it's always rebuilding more enamel and it's always rebuilding itself. And a lot of dentists and medical professionals will tell you that once your you know tooth enamel's gone, you know it's gone, it can't regrow back, but that's not true at all. It can remineralize and rebuild itself if you uh, give it the chance. Uh, you know, think about like your bones. Your bones are basically the same uh, material structure as your teeth. And when you break a bone, what happens? It's going to regenerate. It's going to remineralize and heal itself. Well, the same thing can happen with your teeth as well. But most people are filling themselves up with so much uh, acidic junk all the time that the body has no time to repair the teeth because it's always focused on trying to get rid of the acids and the toxins and things like that. You really want to start eating your natural diet we're a frugivorous species, which means we should eat primarily fruit, and uh, that's really going to be alkalizing and mineralizing, and uh, it's going to give the teeth a chance to remineralize and rebuild itself. And it's also going to hydrate you and alkalize you, meaning that you won't have to leach any more, uh, you know, minerals off your bone and teeth to try and keep your body healthy. And then it can really do some work on repairing your mouth and uh, the enamel on your teeth. I mean, uh, even people that have huge cavities and, and multiple cavities, um, if they're eating their proper diet, the, those cavities will just uh, remineralize and fill themselves back in if, uh, after enough time on, the, on a natural diet. And then there's also uh, the thought of bacteria. Um, most people, I think, brush their teeth because they think bacteria is the cause of a lot of problems. But bacteria is never the cause of problem. Bacteria buildup is a symptom of, a, of the problem. Um, so the, the reason that you have so much bad bacteria in your mouth is that you're eating unnatural foods that aren't supposed to be there, that your body can't break down, that's acidic, that your body just can't handle, and it needs help. Um, Basically, your body can't break this stuff down itself, so nature sends in the bacteria to help out, uh, to help break it down. And then once we see this build up in bacteria, people just blame the bacteria because they think that's the cause because there's a build up of it. But the cause is that you're eating unnaturally and living unnaturally, and that's what's bringing the bacteria in to help you out. And then you're trying to kill it with these chemical uh, hygiene products, and that's doing even more damage to your teeth. It's killing the beneficial bacteria bacteria that are trying to help and um, it's just in no way going to help your health, the health of your teeth. So bacteria are the good guys. We want them to be there. If, if, there's, a bad, if there's bacteria build up there, it means that uh, you know, there's a problem with your, the health of your teeth. Um, it means that you're just eating unnaturally and that uh, you need to get back into nature's laws and eat the way you're supposed to eat so that way your mouth will just be clean and alkalized and won't need all that bacteria in it to help break down the unnatural foods that everybody's eating. And when I'm eating a high uh, fruit diet, you know, pretty much if I'm eating only fruit, uh, I typically only brush my teeth two or three times a week. I find that that feels like it's enough. Um, my, my teeth always pretty much feel clean when I'm eating fruit. There's never any plaque buildup when I'm eating fruit. Uh, it just, uh, my gums are nice and pink and healthy looking um, all the time when I'm just eating fruit. And uh, it just uh, is like uncomparable to a standard American, uh, the mouth of, that I had when I was eating a standard American diet. So um, it was so much stronger and healthier and less sensitive than when I was eating a standard diet. Um, and I was only brushing my teeth with water maybe two or three times a week. You don't need anything other than water. Uh, you know, if you feel like you need to brush your teeth and you've got stuff on your teeth, then just brush it with water. Uh, there's no need for harsh chemicals that are toxic for your body and going to build up acidity, which is just going to cause even more problems. So tooth decay is caused by acids and um, we're all pretty much in this society always surrounded by acids, always eating acids and um, it's time we give our body a break 
and give it what it needs to heal itself and remineralize itself and heal the teeth and that's gonna be a raw food diet, primarily fruit and uh, maybe some leafy greens in there. And that's just gonna be the best thing for your teeth. Uh, no, need, no other creature on the planet uses a toothbrush or toothpaste or mouthwash or anything like that. So um, I feel it's pretty unnecessary. I think the best thing you can do for your teeth is just swish around some water in it uh, and, and spit it out if you wanna clean your teeth. If you feel like it really has um, you know, bad stuff on it. Uh, and of course, if you're eating the standard American diet, then yeah, you're gonna have to probably floss and brush, um, maybe with something more than water because you have unnatural food substances that are gonna be really tough on your teeth and hard to get out. Um, but if you're eating your natural diet, it's not a problem. It's just gonna be super clean and uh, you never have to worry about bacteria or tooth decay or anything like that. So just get back into nature's laws, um, get back to your uh, biological and physiological uh, diet, what's natural for humans, which is fruit, um, and that's just going to be all around the best thing for your body and your teeth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.